Okay, this is Graham. I think it's Graham. Maybe it's Graham Kelly. He's um the Irish Brony, and I think he's also considered a pedophile. I can't remember if he's like an actual pedophile or if he's like one of those like retards that got tricked into saying something pedophilic, so now they just call him like a pedophile. He's like severely mentally handicapped. Um. So this uh. This is the chat message that they wanted me to read. Graham Kelly says. Hi there, everybody. I would like to get this off my chest. I don't wipe my ass after I use the toilet because I find it disgusting and gross. The only way I would wipe my ass is if I'm wearing gloves and then using the toilet tissue. And I don't wipe myself if I'm in a public bathroom. I feel that all public toilets should come with gloves as well as the toilet tissues as well, as I find it disgusting and gross to wipe without it. So... Let me find a picture of this guy. He's on the front page before I talk about the um the the poo poo issue that we have here. This is him. This is yeah. This is the guy I remember. Okay, that's him. He doesn't wipe his ass. He walks around in Ireland. Uh, presumably, he skunks out. He he's a he's a bio weapon employed by the Kiwi Farms. He's he finds um what's his name? Who's that tranny that that tra started drop Kiwi Farms? I want to say boss man. That's not boss man, Jack. Keffles. He hunts down Keffles and then gasses him out with his stinky ass on the rag. He just finds him and then just like walks in front of him and gasses that fucking tranny out with his ass. Um. Now you would, I mean, there are like people, I, I, I'm aware that there are people who can't poop unless they completely undress. Like they have to poop naked. Um, cause I don't know. It's a, it's a thing. It's definitely a thing. I've, I've heard that people have this where they have to get completely undressed to poop. Um, so I, I don't know if you have like a weird poop thing where you can't just go to the bathroom, it's on you to bring gloves. <laughs> you can't just not wipe your ass. I don't know how it's less gross to not wipe your ass. Um, so that's weird, but he is like a brony retard. So that's probably... And a good explanation. Uh, there's a second thing. If this disgusts you and, and uh, raises contempt for you, for this person, he's dying. He has liver failure. This video he posted did not have audio. Yeah. But, Listen, yeah. I have a bit of bad news to tell you. And that is that, um, that I have a, that pretty soon I'll be going, I don't know when I'll be getting it, but I'll be, I went to my doctor, so I did, and, um, I went to my doctor a few weeks ago, and I, and he sent me for a scan on my liver, and I'm now on a waiting list over in the hospital to, to get a liver transplant. So, for the last couple of weeks, I haven't been able to drink. I haven't been able to drink any sort of alcohol at all because of how damaged my liver is because of the amount of um, alcohol I've drank through my teenage years and right through my adult years as well. So, because I didn't realize at the time that I was damaging my liver so Dude, it must Ireland must be like the hardest place to get a liver in the in the entire world. If you need a liver transplant in Ireland, you're just fucked. My liver so much until my um, doctor told me. So I'm on a waiting list for a new liver. So I am, and I only found that out the other day when the when. Me doctor, when the doctor's office rang me and explained everything to me, so they did. Sounds Canadian. I don't think so. I am slightly concerned this might be fake. Let's see. Is there anyone else expressing doubts? Is there a confirmation of this?
No, Mom, I will not wipe. I like to let it crust. That's contributive. Thank you. I don't know. I have not learned more information about if this is fake or not, but I have seen a meme, so I will consider that a mission accomplished. Now, <laughs> I have um, news. Ordinarily, this would be news, but due to extraordinary circumstances, it is not news. It is in the locale section. A man kills three or two, three other people uh, of his own blood, his two sisters and his own mother. And you would think, that's horrible, Josh. What makes him a locale? Is it the fact that he's British? No, it's that he's fucking insane, chat. On June 30th, my sister decided to make the only correct choices. He also looks like Liz Fung Jones, kind of. In episode one of season one of The Walking Dead games. And for that, her face will be mutilated further than necessary. I also recall a video by Living Echoes on YouTube. Best of Lee and Clementine, definitive edition. It was a compilation. And he decided to kill Larry in front of Clementine. And then I later learned he decided to kill the St. John's in front of Clementine. So... It's very hard to understand him because he's British and also a retard, but um, he's talking about the Telltale Walking Dead games, which is a um, <sighs> which is a game where it says your choices matter and then they don't really fucking matter at all. It's one of those games. Um, I remember playing it when on the Wii, and it was it was pretty decent. Uh, but there's like a little girl. It's a, it's like a black girl and a Lee, like a guy that's like an adoptive father for her in the post-apocalypse. And um, this guy is obsessed with Clementine, the little girl, and uh, believes that certain choices are necessary in the game to avoid traumatizing her. Uh, he is outlining that his sisters picked the wrong choices in this game. And for that, uh, he is upset. I am the chosen one, chosen by Clementine. I am guided, as Christians are guided by Jesus Christ. And there will be no more killings of Larry's in front of Clementine. No more killings of St. John's in front of Clementine. And overall, Clementine's content will be preserved, maximized. That's the message I want to give out. Okay. There is something. When, when you play this game, you have like four different options usually to every response. And um, I remember this was so long ago when this game came out that I, I w was still in contact with my family. I remember I was sitting with my little cousins on the couch playing this game. And there's a scene where you come to the realization that the family you're with are cannibals and that the, you're, the Clementine is about to eat human flesh. And usually your choices are like three different things, but there's also always the fourth choice because it's every, every choice is a quick time event. And if you don't choose fast enough, you say nothing. And the story progresses as if you had said nothing. So um, when I got to this part, because throughout the entire game, I had been, I had been picking choices as I would normally, because I don't know, I find it hard to like troll and like the choose your own adventure game things. Um, but when I got to this part, I I chose to say nothing. And um Oh man, I wish I could I don't I'm trying to find it. It is like one of the most hysterical fucking things, and I, I honestly don't know if I can find this. Because okay, this guy says, all choices. And it's like, what's the one where you don't say anything? Does he have this, I wonder? Is this it? Kenny, no! No! 
Lily, grab a knife! What's oh my god! What did I eat? <laughs> what did I eat? He doesn't have this, like, labeled where it's like you can understand what the fuck is happening. Does someone have timestamps? No. All these people are going to play it, like, like honestly, and not, um... That's... Okay. What's funny is that when you get to this part of the game, if you say nothing, then what... Oh, dude, this guy did... Is this right? I'm sorry, I really want to show you this because it's fucking funny. Okay, here we go. I think this is it. Please, if this isn't it, I'm going to look like a fucking retard for, for interrupting this to show you 20-year-old video game footage. Okay, please work. Please work. Okay, he just found out about the, the corpse, and he's running back in to warn them about the meat. Lee, what's wrong, you... <laughs> This is it. Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee. What's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. It didn't have to be this way. He didn't say anything. They didn't know what to do if he just chose to say nothing, because there has to be... You have to get out of this house. So once he just starts saying nothing, manners. It just, it just railroads you. It didn't have to be this way. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. By the shock on your face, Lee, it looks as if you've been upstairs. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Ah! Ah! Come, on. Ah! Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. I just, I just remember being on the couch and we were literally laughing, crying because I was doing nothing. And everyone, the, like, there's, this is trimmed down in the full version. Everyone's like p panicking. Clementine throws up. Like, what am I eating? And it's like you didn't say anything. You just walk downstairs and the hell breaks loose. Like, oh my god, it's people and nobody knows that. There's nobody knows that at all. <laughs> Anyways, this is the game that he decided to kill his entire family over. Um, he turns out he's a little bit of a fucking weirdo. Here are some videos that he posted on uh, YouTube before his channel was terminated. A couple of weeks ago, I was researching Heaven's Gate. And they have something known as the kingdom level above human. And obviously, I was wondering, how is this afterlife any different? than the one promised by Islam or Christianity. And how are those afterlifes any more valid than the ones I contrive? Who's to say mine isn't more valid than theirs? Who's to say that? Who is? And something which stuck with me was how I didn't even see it as crazy how he would die and then be transported to the UFO spaceship and everyone was calling them crazy mind is reeling soul it's remains no different this woman cannot be saved well, it's from the drawing to the fire well, afraid of anything to so bring you it control the afterlife for you very bad narrator I thought British people should be good at this Neprophilia. <laughs> before I have to focus on connecting but there really isn't any cohesive arguments against infant necrophilia in and of itself let alone necrophilia I'll go over the ones I can think of. <clears throat> because it's rape. Then you'd be able to easily point to the harm. Because the body is a sacred object. That's unfalsifiable. We evolved against it. And that is unfalsifiable. <laughs> Sorry, that's the trigger word. 
You just brought up a logical fallacy in a conversation about fucking corpses. In this new world order, we don't take kindly that kind of farcical talk. Every argument against pedophilic relationships falls back to harm, always. Oh my god, bro. <sighs> the internet, when age of consent becomes a, a, a fucking discussion, should it be 18 or 16? Well, now that you think, of, now that you mention it, actually, any conversation about pedophilia always falls back to harm. <laughs> Thanks. Awesome. Introducing a sport to a child and playing said sport with a child is fine. Introducing sex to a child and having sex with a said child is grooming, manipulation, predatory, abusive, morally wrong, and the child here is non-consenting. Why? How run, Clementine, run. Because sex is inherently hard for the children. Of fucking people, of course. Sorry, that's a lousy good spray. Um, now we can discuss RCTs or lack thereof. The CSA literature is the validity of clinical and legal sampling. Okay, next one. Let's say there's an epiophile who lives alone. He likes what? Infants. Say there's an epiophile who lives alone. He likes infants, baby. No, okay, no, let's not that one. Response to Jay Lillen debating the devil. This video is in response to the critiques you raised concerning the 1998 Rhind meta analysis, but to sum up this entire field of CSA research, where non biased sampling is utilized and the data is quantitatively reviewed. Only then can you accurately assess CSA adjustment relations. My sources will be linked in the description below. I will have a. I'm gonna be real with you. This guy ending his entire bloodline and going to jail forever is literally the best thing he possibly could have fucking done. England has been improved somehow, okay? Maybe just a little bit, but it's a better place today than it was a couple days ago. Presenting my quick thoughts on the 2024 UK riots plus the response. I apply directly to Circus Starmer and officials. I am not postulating off MSM in social media. I find that's highly irresponsible. Whilst I do condemn the violence and the blatant discrimination occurring on the streets, their mere presence does not subtract from the vid- Sir, he's into fucking infants, but at least he's not racist. Yuck, yuck, yuck. ...of the problematic premises from which the upset arose. Given the very clear magnitude of the self-preservation and anti-mass immigration sentiments, which is the biggest public showing regarding the issue since the 2016 Brexit... He's an awful orator. This video is in reply to the 10th man on Watch People Die. Oh my god, okay. Before I watch this. WatchPeopleDie.tv is a uh, R drama uh, associated website. Reddit banned at some point. I think during the Ellen Powell era, uh, it banned. Uh, it affected. Well, okay, it banned Watch People Die because it was not advertiser friendly, but it also applied so many rules to R drama that they made it effectively one giant redirect to their own website. Basically, if you try to post and you say anything except emojis, your post gets deleted, and it is effectively an advertisement for this domain. Um, so, Watch People Die is is literally a just a site where you can post like war footage, um, those escalator videos, the live leak China videos that everybody seems to like, like cartel executions. ISIS decapitation videos. There's like a group of people who are really obsessed with watching people die. It's fucking weird. I don't know. I'm not, I don't know enough. Of, I have no strong opinions about this except for it's a fucking weird. Um, a lot of people say, actually, it's about learning to appreciate your own life more and how fortunate you are to be wise and born in a first world country. Um, I don't know if I necessarily co-sign that explanation but i'll not moralize too loudly about it um one of the users on this was surprise our hero of the hour um who got banned somehow from a website about watching cartel execution videos and so he replied to his ban on a youtube short explaining how he thought that decision was wrong i guess i'll just watch on their version because why not This video is in reply to the 10th man on Watch People Die. 
the context of this is that I've been banned for pedo, which basically means... <laughs> I got banned for pedo, which isn't a stated rule. I didn't post anything illegal under US law, nor did I sexualize any minor. And then the message that he wrote is... I do, however, see no issue with voluntary true adult sex. And then he says, we don't care why you think that way. We have our own rules that go beyond U.S. law. Uh, pretty based. I'm banning you because I don't like you, I guess. Considering I've broken no rule and no one is willing to explain how I've broken any rule. I've tried to reason with these people. What I've done is I've made a slew of messages combating misinformation and comments based on empirical findings and comments made purely for academic purposes in spreading knowledge and understanding on this topic. Spreading knowledge about pedophilia. So for example, this is the comment which got me banned. Oh, well, please, do read it. You can read that if you like. I, I would, I would. And obviously, I've made lots of other comments. And people have responded in anger, obviously. Pertaining to my uh, messaging the moderators, um, not one person was willing to explain to me what I said, how what I said was sexualization, because that is the rule they try to bend in justifying my ban. Um, I wrote. Oh, did he not read his post? He says, to avoid inevitable rhetoric and misrepresentation surrounding the legal terms of consent and rape, I'm going to use involuntary and voluntary sex instead. I don't support involuntary sex with children. Well, I do, however, see no issue with voluntary adult se stemming from empirical findings. Areola... Et al. 2008, Stanley et al. 2004, Ryan B. 2001. These are the the um, the studies, by the way, that were put out by the 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 Harvey Milk Institute to justify pedophilia back when NAMBLA was a part of the LGBTQIP plus formally, and now that it's not, they pretend that none of these studies regarding child children being raped were ever conducted by um, Harvey Milk and his associates could have responded then talking about puberty genitals or just sex ed is really it's in it's purely for educational purposes it's not to satisfy any pedophilic desire purely there is no sexual objectification anywhere dude these are my least least favorite kinds of people when you like ban them from a thread or you ban them from the site and they break out the fucking rules that you fucking wrote your own fucking rule book and they start parsing through the words like they're a fucking internet attorney and they're going to litigate you to the high court of internet fucking janitor appeals as if I'm going to like be like, oh, you're right. I, w I erred in banning you because uh, the words don't specifically align uh, like the stars on the fucking moon. Like uh, I wrote them. I can change. If you think that they don't cover your specific use case, guess what, motherfucker? I can rewrite them to say whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> what, what, the, what kind of fucking persuasive ability do you think I, you have over me in regards to my own, my own guidelines and shit? It really is just combating misinformation, and obviously they have responded. We have no care. Like always. But the comments which really annoyed me was... I'm generating a meme, but it's taking a very, very long time. I need my AI to hurry up. <sighs> Nothing I said was a threat of violence, a threat to commit a crime, the way that your analogy suggests. Nor was anything I said a joke, considering I've quite literally cited my sources. So I really don't know how to...
respond to this, considering he hasn't addressed any of my concerns. And of course he thinks it was a joke. Anything that doesn't demonize pedophilia is a joke. Um, I mean, it's not very funny. Don't break any rules. Dude, I'm so glad that this guy and everyone related to him is dead. Too bad he didn't get his father, too. But I imagine because he's half black, his father's not in the picture. You know what he looks like? He looks identical to Nadir El Shawami, the first guy that was fucking, um... Uh, oh my god, look at these fucking mutts. They're just like us. Love is love. What a proud British family. Let me find Nadir real quick. Um, let's see, Nadir, Foodie Beauty, here we go, bam. This guy, doesn't he look a lot like Nadir? Huh? Huh? He does look a lot like Nadir, I think. I think that's pretty close. There's a picture of them that I saw that's like really, really, um, like close up. And it shows them side by side, and it's like in indisputable that they look identical, chat. Not turned in DDU, -D that's right. That's exactly right. Um, oh, is his YouTube channel still up? I imagine not. It has to be gone by now. Yeah, it's, a, it's just like a 404. It's not even like this channel's been terminated. It's like this channel never existed. <laughs> you know, there's a specific error code. That's not 404. It's 410 gone. And 410 gone is supposed to, like, 404 is supposed to, is like a generic catch all error code for when content can't be found. But 410 specifically says that it um, used to exist, but has been taken down and no longer exists and will not be returned. Um, whereas 404 is just like you entered in something wrong or something. You, uh, but YouTube never uses 410 to say, like, this content used to exist, but now it's gone. It just uses 404. This content never existed, child. No. Wrong again. That is simply your low intelligence mind playing tricks on you again. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!